Um, 17 points for you in the fourth quarter uh, tonight. This is the second game in a row where in the fourth quarter you've kind of found a groove. What was it tonight where you kind of found that spot? Um, I think just sticking with it. Uh, <clears throat> again, I struggled in the first half. Um, struggled getting to the line, struggled uh, making jump shots, but just stay consistent, stay confident, and they start following. Uh, the other guy that scored a whole bunch in the fourth quarter was Chris. Uh, just what have you kind of learned about Chris in these moments, kind of in this year and a half you've been with him? What have I learned? Uh, he's a bucket. I mean, we already knew. I mean, I knew that before I got here. Uh, haven't learned much. <laughs> hey, that's, what, that's, that's, that's what he does. Um, I do know that shit's amazing. It's amazing to watch. Uh, just how he gets to his spots, um, how he takes his time. Um, how it just seems like nobody affects him. It's just him and him and the hoop. So that's is, is really fun to watch. Uh, defensively, you guys have had two big plays. Giannis gets the block on on Payne, and then Chris on the switch gets the steal. Just what did you see from those two guys making big plays and big moments? I think Giannis had five fouls. Chris uh, hadn't been in that switch kind of all game. Right. Um, again, just them doing them. Uh, our two best players making big plays at the right time. It, it, I guess you can't write it any <laughs> in, any different way. Um, but that's what's going to make us good, uh, especially down the stretch. Our two best players putting their, I mean, their life on the line, uh, given everything at, at the end of the game. So, Drew, um, I don't think Bridges scored until the third quarter. So what were what were Payne and, and Shamit able to do up top, I guess, to kind of shake free, score, and, and sort of get, get themselves going? Yeah, uh, they did a good, a great job of using the screen, um, getting into the paint and, and knocking down those floaters and, High layups off the glass, um, trying to make plays for others. But um, I think the way our defense was kind of set up was either for um, Cam or one of the guards to score or or pass it to one of the bigs um, in the pick and roll. So it did kind of leave him out of it. Um, but at the same time, I, I felt like Cam had a great game, uh, played very, very well, and, and got two spots and made, made some nice shots. Um, just earlier, Bud said this was by far, or not by far, but it was Jordan's best game. He said, regardless of points scored or anything like that, it was, the way he played, what he did in that fourth quarter. Um, just said, I know you're fond of him, but what what does this mean maybe for him? But also then for you guys, for him, to, you'll have a bench player come up and, and make those kind of key key baskets. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> yeah. um, honestly, I would say it was fun to see him out there. Um, I feel like his... Uh, when he's out there in big moments like that, he he loves it. Um, I felt like playing a game like this where it was, I don't know, people call it a rival game or whatever, but being out there in the fourth, um, it's big time and it's fun to play. And these are the moments that we play for. So Jordan, I feel like he's always going to step up. Um, today he played great, uh, played the right way, had some big defensive stops. He gave me watching my mixtapes. There we go. And then... Um, Made some plays offensively too, um, not just offensive rebounding or just scoring, but offensive rebounding. More of a big picture question. How is your leadership different here than it was in New Orleans? Is it because of who you're with? Are there some subtleties that are coming out now in this season for you that are helping you lead in times like this? Um, it was a little different. Uh, personnel was different. Characters were different. Uh, my age was different. Um, <clears throat> also we had a younger team, um, a lot of the time there where everybody was still trying to figure it out. Um, we have a lot of veterans and then a couple of young guys. And, and I felt like at that point, you don't really have to lead. Uh, you really just talk to each other and communicate and, and, um, you know, each, each other's characters, what they like and don't like, and uh, you kind of just mesh that way. So, um, here it's been, I mean, it's, it's been really fun, um, just having that balance of like vets and, and young guys. Third game in five days where y'all have rallied down the stretch to beat one of the league's top teams. Did you feel this kind of stretch was like a statement for y'all, the way y'all were able to play these last few games? Um, I think we're just playing basketball, to be completely honest. I won't even say that we're really thinking about it. Uh, games like that we love, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> We love playing those, and we love being in those those type of games. Um, they're a really good team, so um, we kind of know what it takes, and, and especially in moments like that, what it takes to to win games. So, honestly, I just feel like we're sharpening our tool, um, especially down the stretch, being able to execute, not turn the ball over, um, 
play defense as best we can and and, and execute in that way. And y'all were down, I think, five when Giannis went to the bench for his fifth, with his fifth foul. You're ahead by the time he comes back in the game. Just how were you able to kind of just hold on, actually kind of outscore them during that stretch without him? I think just everybody steps up. Um, everybody knows that when Giannis goes to the bench, especially at a time like that with his fifth foul, uh, somebody, everybody's going to have to be elevated. Um, it's not going to be just one person. It's going to be the, the the everybody and not just the five on the court. So, um I feel like uh, going out there and, and, and playing and really just next man up mentality really worked for us. Drew, saw you, <clears throat> saw you chopping it up with Aaron and your family before the game. I and mean, what does it just mean to you to be able to share a court with him? And, you know, especially at the stage you are at in your career to, to know that he's upcoming in his with such a good team. Right. Um, it's awesome. Um, it's bittersweet it had to be that team, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, potentially somebody that we could we could see down the line, uh, which I'm super happy for him. Um, also know the coach, um, the players that they have over there, the I mean, the coaching staff. I'm I'm really happy to see him on a team that has good character, good leadership. Um, like you said, somebody who's uh, I believe will be in the league for a long time. But um, I think the way that he's going to learn over there is really going to elevate his game. All right.